Hey guys, what is going on? Z here, and in this video I want to discuss some things to pay attention to before purchasing a Xiaomi phone. Now, Xiaomi, I know it's spelled X-I-A-O-M-I, -I. it's pronounced Xiaomi. First I'd like to say that Xiaomi is a fantastic company that make many quality electronics that are on par with some of the electronics that you'll find in North America. Just take a look at the Xiaomi Sports Cam, very similar to that of the GoPro, but significantly cheaper. So buying your first Xiaomi phone. Xiaomi uses a custom ROM built on Android that they call MIUI, or MIUI. Because it's very similar to Apple OS, the iOS, some people actually don't like it. The specs of their flagship phones when compared to their USA rival phones are a lot cheaper, but there must be some cons to this. And yes, as a matter of fact, there are. And you have to decide if the extra money saved is worth the hassle. One of them being, if you buy this phone from a Chinese reseller, the odds are that they are flashing the ROM for you and installing Google Play Store, and along with that, bloatware and adware. What this means is, you're basically gonna be having advertisements on the swipe to unlock screen, so, Say on this screen here, you'll have a you'll have like a little ad popping up from Amazon, and you know I guess when you're browsing the net, you're gonna have some advertisements, and that, that kind of gets annoying. So what I recommend is when buying the phone from a Chinese reseller like Gearbest or anywhere any reseller off of AliExpress, is you want to basically tell the seller that you don't want a flashed ROM, and um, basically tell them to leave the phone in the sealed package because usually when they when they flash the ROM they need to open up the package and they actually even tell you in the description so you need to tell them specifically not to open up the package not to flash the ROM just to send it out with the global ROM so this way you won't need to deal with the annoying ads that come up on your phone and which slow down your phone and actually cause a lot of uh, aggravation but on that same note you will need to make sure that you have some tech skills because when you get the phone with the original ROM, it will require you to playing around with the ROM. So you're going to need to play around with the ROM and edit some APK files, install install some custom ROM firmware, and uh, stuff like that. So you will need to have a lot of patience, and uh, and you're going to have you're going to need to have a lot of time on your hands. Um, hopefully, Xiaomi will better themselves in this area so that their phones will be more desirable to American consumers. Now another thing to consider, and this goes for most China-based phones, is warranty. Consider the fact that if you get a lemon or along the road something does happen to your phone, you will have to pay shipping and customs if you do happen to send your phone into China for repair. Now I did hear that Xiaomi set up shop in USA, in the US, but in terms of warranty, I, I'm not really sure if they will do anything for you there but you could always email them and ask if they will honor a warranty in the USA if you did buy the phone from China. So Xiaomi does have many variants of their phones and you need to take that into consideration when buying a phone. So say you're looking to buy uh, one of their I know for instance their Redmi Note I believe the 3 I know the Prime or the Pro so some of their phones use the MediaTek processors and others use the Snapdragons. And some use both the MediaTek and Snapdragon processors. Now, you, you might ask what the difference is between MediaTek and Snapdragon. So MediaTek does claim better specs, but the Snapdragon is far better. And you should always aim for the Snapdragon variant of the phone. It may cost a few more bucks, but it's it's well worth it. You're gonna have a phone that uses less power to operate, and it's going to be significantly better than the MediaTek processor. I'm not saying that the MediaTek is crap, just the MediaTek is not as good as the Snapdragon. So always, even if you're paying a few extra bucks, it's always worth it to get the Snapdragon variant of the phone. Also, take note the that the ROM sorry the ram of the phone the amount of ram is always is different on 
even within the Snapdragon, you'll have two gigabytes and you'll have three gigabytes. I know this does get confusing and you need, you will need to take a close look at that. And above that, they will have the the memory storage amounts, a 32, a, a 32 gigabyte memory storage variant. And you'll have a 64 gigabyte variant, store, uh, variant of the phone. So within the Snapdragon, you'll have to pay attention. And even in the MediaTek, you'll have to pay attention that even if you are getting um, three gigabytes of, of RAM of the RAM variant it might come with 32 gigabyte of storage but Xiaomi does have a lot they do offer in a lot of their phones especially I know in the notes they offer the expandable storage slot so remember that if you do happen to buy the 32 gigabyte memory uh, memory version of the of the Xiaomi phone you will have the option to expand the storage. I believe it is like 128 gigabytes. I'm not sure, depending on the phone, the model, uh, the year. So that's not such a big deal. Main thing is to take a look at the RAM and to make sure that you have expandable storage. So when purchasing this phone, you always want to purchase it in a safe place, obviously. You don't want to buy either a knockoff or a falsely advertised phone, right? So a good place for this would be GearBest. I know that GearBest, they do sell to a lot of people in the United States and they are, they are a very popular site. A lot of people buy from them. So I will post a link in the description below and on the top right of this video and it will be a link to the GearBest website. Now don't forget that if you are ordering this phone and you live in Canada, you will have to pay customs and a duty fee, taxes. I'm not sure exactly how much that could be, but take that into consideration. If you do wish to purchase the phone off AliExpress, make sure you're purchasing it from a reputable seller. Okay, and when I mean reputable, look at the reviews. Make sure everyone's saying good things about the seller. Make sure they have a good rating of at least 98, 99%. You know, you don't want to you don't want to have to get the phone and then realize that. Um, down the line they sent you a MediaTek instead of a Snapdragon. There's a lot of sketchiness basically, so you need to really pay attention when purchasing off AliExpress. Just make sure you have all the information straight and if you're not sure about something then ask them. And if they're not giving you the full information then you know something is sketchy and you should really not deal with that. You never want to deal with a seller that there is a communication barrier because it will cause a lot of stress and headache. And lastly, look at the band frequencies when purchasing this phone. You do want to make sure that the phone that you are purchasing is compatible on your carrier. So if you're using AT&T, Rogers, uh, Verizon, Wind, I'm just throwing out some carrier uh, names. You want to make sure that the phone will be compatible with your phone carrier. Because the last thing you want is buying a phone that does not support the carrier bands that you use. So a good website, a good resource for this, I will post it in the link above, in a link above, so you'll see that. Um, and I will post it in the description, but the name of the website is willmyphonework.net. And that is an invaluable resource. So when you're purchasing a phone, you wanna make sure it works on the carrier that you are currently using. And the last piece of advice that I highly recommend, I highly, highly recommend, and I can't stress that enough, is research, research, and more research. Make sure that whatever you're looking for in a phone, the phone that you're looking into has it. For instance, if you drive a lot and need a very reliable GPS, then make sure the model that you're looking to buy, make sure that the phone and the model that you're looking to buy has a stable GPS. Because the last thing that you need is a GPS that has trouble getting signal, right? I mean, if you're driving, and suddenly you lose signal, and this is constant. It's just gonna, it's just gonna get on your nerves, right? Because again, you are paying. Obviously, you are paying a lot of money, and you want a quality product. So do make sure that, make sure no one else is having trouble with, with you know the GPS. And if you can't find it, then, then the best thing to do is to start a topic, you know, even add it in the comment section in in, in a video that maybe you'll uh, you'll uh, come upon. And just a good thing is to just keep asking, you know, make sure that 
everything does work properly, the things, the priorities, the main things that you're going to be using the phone for, right? A lot of people do make that mistake. They end up buying the phone and everything that they don't need the phone for works perfectly and everything that they do need the phone for basically doesn't work properly, right? So you don't want to make that mistake. Otherwise, Xiaomi is an exceptional mobile phone manufacturer and they are only getting better and better. So guys, that will be it for this video. I hope I answered some of your questions if you did have any or if you were looking to purchase a Xiaomi phone and just needed more information about Xiaomi. I can tell you that they are a fantastic phone manufacturer. They do make quality products and you will see it when or if you do purchase it, right? So if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll try to answer them. Maybe somebody else with a Xiaomi phone will, will answer them. And um, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, guys, take care. And I'll catch you on the flip side.